What you guys got another video here for you on using Plex without a computer on my cloud home. Now, if you're using the single uh, version or the duo version, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you've got it set up like this, you're pretty much good to go. I've made a setup video, which I'll leave in a card up above and in the video description. You'll need to set up an account here. And uh, once you've got that account set up, you should be able to uh, connect and access your Western Digital My Cloud Home uh, drive. Now I'm going to go down to uh, the Explorer here and just open this up. Now you should see it here. I've mapped this to this location here. You can see this is my cloud home drive here. So once we click on this, we should see it populate up on the top and this it means it's working. If you click on this, you will see your folders and stuff like that. Um, so you can see that you are connected. Now we know we're connected. Let's go down to the bottom right here and open up our Western Digital Discovery and you can see here storage apps and Brian's uh, My Cloud Home. Yours will be called whatever you've called it but basically you can see here we've got a four terabyte of space and now we can go to apps. You may see here there is no install button on the Plex part here and that is because we need to go to mycloud.com and sign in there and we can then install it from there. Okay so let's go ahead and do that. So you want to open yourself up a browser and you want to then type in there mycloud.com and sign into your account, the account that you set up right at the beginning. Go to services here and you should now see the Plex uh, plugin which you can now enable. So click on the enable button to enable Plex and it will configure the Plex for your media storage that you've just set up here just agree to their terms and conditions and their services and uh, let Plex install and then once it installs there'll be a configure button right underneath it which we can then click on and configure Plex to our liking it's pretty straightforward so there you should see now configure and we can click on the configure button and this will allow us to configure Plex if you've never used Plex before, you can read the tutorial that uh, comes with it when you start it up. But if you have, you can click on sign in. If you've already got an account, click sign in. If you don't have an account, you're just going to sign one up with an email address or whatever other method you want to sign up with. Now, once you've got that done, uh, you should be able to sign in to Plex. And you should now see that Plex has been discovered on your network. And it's found it there, My Cloud Home. And you can now allow people to access from outside of your network, which might be your family, your friends, and you can configure that if you want to. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comments section below. But if it's just for your internal network for your house, then remove this tick and you can uh, just set it up for yourself and anyone who's on your home network in your house. And then click that and then you now see organize your media and this is where your library is it says uh, movies tv shows and stuff like that you can remove them or add your own ones in i'm going to leave them as they are because we're going to do all our organizing on our western digital my cloud home uh, server so i'm not worried too much about that because none of the files will be stored on plex at all so just leave the folders as they are or set up the ones that you want by clicking add library we can now click done and you can get the Plex app for your tablets or your phones and set those up. If you want to see those, then let me know in the comment section. It will now scan your network and try to find the media. So if you haven't got media on your uh, storage drive yet, then you need to go and add that in. So let's go back there and take a look. You should now see when you click on this, you should now see a Plex folder. Click on the Plex folder and you should see shared home videos, shared movies or whatever folders that you've created and if you've left them default they will look like exactly what you're seeing here. There's nothing inside them yet so we need to uh, put some data in there. Now I've gone ahead and configured some folders and I'll show you how I set up uh, my let me show you how I set up uh, my folder system on my server. So let me just quickly set this up. I'm going to go into Plex again and I set mine up inside the movies section here. I have a load of different folders for different types of genre for movies. So action, adventure, animation, comedy, and I will drop the files into those 
allocated folders to keep it organized and you can set yours up how you like but I would suggest that if you have got a lot of media then you may want to organize it a bit better just to so you know what you're looking for and how to set it up and that's how I set mine up so I've dropped one file in there just to show you for quickness and we can now go back to Plex and once you go back into Plex now we need to search for our movies that we've added in this case we've added one movie but if you've got loads of them you just go to movies and scan my media library and it will try and detect movies on your Western Digital My Cloud Home server that you've just created and it's now found that file it will then scrape out on the internet for the fan art and media for that particular type of movie so you get all the covers and all the information about that movie and all the other movies that you may have added and any sort of TV shows and any sort of other media that you have on your server now obviously depending on how much media you have will determine how long it takes to find all of them covers so if you've got a lot of music it will try and find all the album covers and stuff like that and you can see it's found the cover and the fan art here and it will also find all the information about that movie and when you click on it it'll give you more information about it you've got some other buttons up here which we can cover in other videos but basically that's that's it in a nutshell you've got it all here you'd have loads more movies and stuff on here and you can change the format the way it's laid out so once you've got all this set up and it's scraped all your movies and TV shows and music and stuff like that and you've got all your cover art and stuff then you need to go to your TV and set up your connection uh, so either Wi-Fi or Ethernet it's entirely up to you but once you're there your TV if it's modern should have an app place where you can install your Plex and on this TV it does have Plex already here you just click on it and it will give you the opportunity to click on the link and put in the code so you can see here get started at this link once you go there it will give you this RCFC or it will give you another code go back to your computer and go to that link and type it in your browser and put that code in and because it's on your home network it will link the account to your TV so just click link and you should see it saying account linked and then go back to your TV and you should now see all your content on your TV and it's coming straight from your Western Digital My Cloud Home uh, server here as you can see up on the top right hand side and then when you play that your movie will play and that's pretty much it that's basically how you set it up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been helpful to you that's basically how you can set up and use Plex without a computer on my cloud home. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.